If you have already bought yourself a high resolution monitor and no matter how you adjust the scaling with Mac OS and everything still looks a bit fuzzy, this video is for you. The thing with Mac OS scaling is it doesn't work well with certain combination of display size and resolution. For example, Mac OS does not work well with 27 inch monitors with 4K UHD resolution and Mac OS does not work well with 1440p resolution. Shown on the screen right now are the differences in sharpness between the default UI scaling from Mac OS, which you can see at the top, versus the UI scaling that is provided by this app called Better Display. So you can see there is a very significant difference in sharpness. Before you can get sharp user interface scaling on your external display, you have to download this app called Better Display, which I will link in the video description below. This app is based on a freemium model, which means that certain features are free to use. However, if you want all the features, you have to pay one time to unlock all the features. I bought this app many months ago, so I cannot remember if the specific UI scaling option is behind the paywall or it's free. Anyway, there's a trial version, so you can just install it and see if it works for you. If it works, you can go on and purchase the app. After installing Better Display, you have to adjust the settings first before it can work properly. So look for Better Display under this little monitor icon on the menu bar and scroll down to the bottom and click on the settings button. Put a tick here for edit the system configuration of this display. Set up native smooth resolution scaling and add a near native high DPI variant for the native resolution. If for some reason this app is not able to detect the resolution of your display, you will have to enter that manually under native panel pixel resolution. So this is the resolution of this display that I'm using. After that, you can reboot your Mac. All these resolution options should be available. And now you can choose whichever resolution you want and the visuals will look sharp. Currently, I'm using 1440 by 900. One of the settings which was enabled earlier will allow you to adjust the size of the user interface just by moving this slider. So currently I'm using 1440 by 900. So maybe I want to reduce the UI so that I can see more content, more desktop. So let me just drag this slider all the way up to 1920 by 1200 and release that and now the UI has been adjusted and all the visuals still look really sharp. So no more fuzzy text and no more fuzzy visuals and you don't have to return the monitor you just purchased. For those working in graphic design, this is how a file with 1080p resolution will look at 100% in this 1080p workspace that is running on top of the 1440p resolution. Yes, it's kind of confusing. Anyway, the takeaway point here is you will not be able to see one-to-one -one pixel mapping. If this is showing one-to-one -one pixel representation, this will actually be much larger. But right now, it's actually using 1280 pixels, like physical pixels, to show you this file. So this is how you can get a sharp user interface on the external monitor with Mac OS. And this is the solution to the problem that has been tormenting Mac OS users for more than a decade since the first Retina MacBook Pro was released in 2012.